Speaking English, Expressions for Education Let's continue Speaking September with some English expressions related to education. Make sure to watch this video to the end to learn about a common error that a lot of students make when talking about what they studied in college. Number 1. Cover a lot of ground. If a class or a course covers a lot of ground, it means it teaches a lot of material. For example, we covered a lot of ground in the first two weeks of the course. We've already finished four chapters in the textbook. Now it's your turn to use this phrase. What's a class or course you've taken that has covered a lot of ground? Number 2. Drew a blank or mind went blank. If you are asked a question and you draw a blank or your mind goes blank, it means you cannot think of the answer. Maybe you actually do know the answer or have a response, but you just can't think of it in that moment. For example, I totally drew a blank when it came to the final question on the exam. Talk about a time your mind went blank when faced with the question. Number 3. On Campus The word campus refers to the property of a college, university, or school. For example, there are three dining halls and two gyms on campus. Say a few things that were on the campus of your school or university. Number 4. Teacher's Pet the teacher's pet is the teacher's favorite student who always behaves well, studies hard, and tries to please the teacher. For example, Mark always helps clean up the classroom. He's a teacher's pet. Who in your class was a teacher's pet? Number 5. Know by heart. If you know something by heart, it means you have memorized it. You can remember it easily without having to check a reference. For example, we studied that poem so much that now I know it by heart. What is something that you know by heart? Number 6 goof off or goof around. If students are goofing off or goofing around, it means they are acting silly and not being serious. For example, the teacher scolded the boys who were goofing off in the back of the classroom. Talk about a time you were goofing off or you saw someone else goofing off. Number 7. Drop out of school. To drop out of school means to stop attending school permanently. If you just take a break but intend to go back, then you are taking a semester off or taking a year off. But when you drop out, you don't go back. A person who does this can be called a high school dropout or a college dropout. For example, she had to drop out because of some serious financial problems. Now answer the questions, what are some reasons a person might drop out of school? And do you ever think it's actually better for someone to drop out? Now that you've learned some phrases about education, let me correct a common error that a lot of English learners make when talking about what they studied in college. They say, I'm graduated in sociology. However, that's not the way native English speakers express this idea. We use graduate only for the event of finishing high school or college. For example, I graduated in 2010. He's going to graduate next year. The whole family attended her college graduation. 
The graduation is the ceremony when you finish high school or college. But when talking about what you studied, we say, I studied, I majored in, or I have a degree in. For example, I graduated in 2010, I studied sociology. I majored in Latin American literature. I have a degree in veterinary medicine. Another very common problem that a lot of students write to me about is this. Shana, I can understand you, but when I listen to a conversation between other native speakers, I can't understand anything. If this describes you, I have good news. This month, you have the opportunity to practice and improve your understanding of real, natural conversations by listening to other people speaking, and not just me. Espresso English is partnering with Ello.org to offer a special combination product the Everyday English Speaking Course, with 45 lessons with practical English phrases for daily life, and 100 quick conversation lessons from Ello.org, where you'll listen to real dialogues between different native speakers. Remember, the special price is only available during the month of September. Click on the link in the video to see some sample lessons from both programs.